Margaret Cho, I felt like it would be a good idea to go to a comedy club, something I've never done before and seems like a lot of fun. But also, I've read a couple comedians now, and I really feel like I want to get a better understanding of how their minds work. Wow, you guys look really good tonight. I, uh, I've never stripped, um, but like, I have weighted tables. That's like the classy version of stripping, right? Because we have, like, strippers are girls who didn't have dads, right? Waitresses are girls who had dads, but they were just like super mediocre dads. You know, like they were there, but they also congratulated you on getting into community college. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh my god, Macaulay Culkin, if he didn't do drugs, is here. What do you, what do you do for a living? I talk to dead people for a living. So. Like a psychic? Like a psychic, So yeah. you know my set, I'm in a bomb? Is, you know, you know I think good things, I say good things. Okay, good, all right, yeah, perfect. No, you're good, you're gonna nail it. All right, cool, so you, I definitely know you're not real, because I know I'm bombing. <laughs> I know, well, <laughs> we'll see. We'll okay, look. we'll see, all right. So I'm watching the comedians doing their sets, and they start calling me out, which, Totally good with, completely good sport. Thank you. So you're a medium, right? Yeah. How old are you, man? 19, but I feel 12. It was really an amazing, immersive, and hilarious experience. You're 19, dude. And you're a medium. I'm you're a teen medium. I am a teen medium. I'm an adult large. Oh, That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any, like, was it precognition? Um, well, it's part of it. Part of it? Mm -hmm. You know how this joke is going to end? <laughs> you guys have been so much fun. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the show. After the show ended, I was invited to walk through the VIP room, and I could really feel how much history was there. It was a fantastic experience. You're medium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that, <laughs> like, talk large. to dead people. How often do you? Because this happens with comics all the time. Sure. Where there's a huge difference between someone who is a comic and someone who says they're a comic. Right. Absolutely. There are a lot of people who say they're a comic. For sure. There are very few comics. Right. I assume that you run into that in your profession too. Yeah. Unfortunately, with with anything you get, people who are unsavory. There's actually one thing that I think is is similar is the ability to read someone's energy. In order for someone to be a good comic, they need to understand why someone's laughing, and to do that, you need to be able to read a person in a couple of seconds. Like, have you have you ever done a reading for someone who doesn't believe? Oh, totally. Oftentimes, I can feel whether or not they're really open and wanting me to continue, or whether they're more shut off. Which I'm sure you can kind of relate to with comedy if people don't laugh. You yeah, know, you kind of. I'm sure. Oh, if people don't want to be at the show, right. nothing in the world can ever make them laugh. <laughs> It was really fun getting to see the comics perform and really have to read the room. I could definitely relate, and if I were a comic, I think I'd have an unfair advantage. You are an angel. You really are. Your gift is unlike anything else. Tyler is young to have that ability. I feel blessed that I've met him. Hollywood Medium with Tyler Henry, only on E!